Gentlemen, may I request a drum roll, please? Tonight's guest is everything you'd want in a Green Bay Packer. A terrific player and a terrific human being. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm Packers Life's welcome to Tremont Williams. Pick the far seat if you will. <laughs> Tremont, how are you? I'm fine. What about you? I'm doing very well, thank <laughs> you. Thanks in large part to that game yesterday, which we will get to in a moment. But first of all, Tremont, would you say job one for you is like covering receivers as a cornerback? No doubt about it. All right. No doubt okay. about it. Well, I want to show an example of you going beyond the call of that duty. And it happens to be my favorite Tremont Williams play from this season. Sam Shields with the interception. Tremont Williams, watch him right here. Watch what he does to this bear. <laughs> That's funny. One more time. Hey, Tremont. <laughs> I think that guy was Santaniel Holmes, and I think you knocked him out of the league. I think the Bears cut him. Oh, that's, that's tough, man. <laughs> I don't wish that on nobody. That's my favorite play by Tremont Williams. Thank also, you. ranking right up there, the four takeaways you guys had defensively against the Philadelphia Eagles, including your interception. You blanketed that dude. <laughs> Is that, is that the biggest thrill for you still, an intercepted pass? I love interceptions, man. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was tough because I had to fight for the ball. I mean, he was trying to post me out. He kind of brought me back to my basketball days. You know, I had to de- DM up a little bit. I had to get around him and get the ball. Now, Tremont, <laughs> Tremont when you see another interception was made by that fella, 6'7", 287, Julius Peppers. <laughs> When you see that guy, 13 years in the league, 34 years old, when you see him do this stuff, what does it do to you as a teammate? What does it do for you, I should say? Uh, We just finished talking about those Chicago Bears guys. I mean, we're we're thankful that they got rid of that guy. (laughs) (laughs) Able to get him over here. So, I mean, it's excellent to see a guy of that stature. Come, come here and show what he's capable of doing, especially at that age. You know, you don't get that too often. So it just shows that the beast that he is. Tremont, that wasn't the only return touchdown, of course. Micah Hyde had the punt return, Casey Hayward the fumble return. Those dramatic turnaround plays that happen just like that, mm-hmm. are they big for a team? How big are they? They're huge. Um, you know, anytime you get that, um, first of all, as a defense, you know, you, you, you got to understand that you got to go right back out on the field, you know, <laughs> just just from getting on the field. But when you get those those plays like that, the, the, the offense, the defense, the special teams, we don't count for those points. So if you can get points of that nature, plus you got Aaron Rodgers behind center, not, not much guys can do about that. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of which, Tremont, now, during training camp, you go against them every day. Mm-hmm. Not so much during the season, once in a while, but during training camp, every day. Does anything he does surprise you? I mean, the guy's playing at an incredible <laughs> level. It's, it's funny because I, I sit back and I watch him doing the game, and I kind of sort of felt sorry for those defensive backs out there. <laughs> <laughs> Not not because, you know, Jordy was getting behind him, but because the places where the ball was placed at, even if they were in great coverage, it was nothing that they can do. So for me to see that, I kind of felt sorry for those guys a little bit, but I was glad that that guy's on our team. Now, <laughs> now Tremont, talking about your individual game, it seemed for the most part they avoided you. They stayed away from going 
to the guy you were covering. Did you kind of get that sense during the ball game? Um, a little bit because the first half I didn't get, I don't think, any action at all. Second half they started throwing now routes. You know, if you guys don't know what now routes is, it's just the quarterback just turn out and just throw it right to the receiver. They don't even run a route, so um, that was the way to get him the ball. And um, you know, I kind of got that feeling, but I had had that feeling for two weeks now. I didn't get much action last last week against Chicago either. All right, Tremont, hang on to your helmet, buddy, because it's time to go in the auto. There we go. In the huddle, the exciting segment where we dissect the play with the player who made it. Tremont, are you ready? I'm ready. Now, in this case, now I noticed, like when you're playing, sometimes you're up, Mm -hmm. sometimes you're back. This time, clearly, you're up in Jeremy Macklin's face. What makes that decision for you? Um, Mainly down in distance. Um, If it's a third and short or a third and, you know, five, I'll probably get up and press him, you know, take away space away from the receivers. If it was a little bit longer, I'd probably play off, anticipate that they're going to run a sticks route, and try to make the play on the ball, but I, I chose to get up this time. Okay, let's roll the tape, and he's coming off, and okay, at this point, okay, he makes his break, and you're reading what? And I also would like you to talk about the ability to turn your hips like you did and how important that is for a cornerback. Um, well, I'm reading his hips at this point. Um, seeing his hips and his body language. His body language is going to tell you everything. If he come out and he make his break and he try to go full speed, you probably can anticipate a deep route. But if he's pacing himself, then you can kind of anticipate that he's going to stop and kind of sit on a route. But, but to be able to change your hips like that, they're just, they're just born with it. You're just born <laughs> with it. All right. It's very, it is important, though, isn't it? Okay. So at what point do you kind of know Hey, he's going to run an out on me. Here. He's actually looking back right now. So you see him looking back, you probably can anticipate either come back or back show the fade. So I'm trying to throttle down as I see his eyes looking up. So you see me get into his body. First thing I do is get into his body and look for the ball myself. All right. So he slips, which the Eagles did a lot of, as a matter of fact, mm-hmm. as I watched the tape. He slips down, and at this point, if we could look behind your helmet, are your eyes getting enormous? Here comes oh, the ball. Oh, man. You don't know the feeling. <laughs> You're right. I don't know the feeling. One of many. Okay, I can't get the thing to work. But anyway, let's continue on. And now it's a fight for the ball, mm-hmm. correct? So he's trying to get up and post me post me up, and I'm trying to get around. So I was able to get around and get my hand around the ball. That's a, that had to be a hard catch to make. That was heavily contested, wasn't it? It was. It was. Um, Mike was talking about putting a package in for me on offense, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and look how you left Sanchez right there. That's tough. And the circle works perfectly. That's a, that's a good thing for a DB. That's yeah, a good face. Yeah. Well done, Tremont Appreciate Williams. It. Coming up, earn your autograph starring Earl. play earn your autograph and our guest player is Earl and Earl who are you here with here with uh, University of Wisconsin Stevens Point School of Business over there in your <laughs> and keep in mind folks Big there crowd. is the future of our country okay <laughs> Earl if you can learn the football skill Tremont is about to coach you on you will earn his autograph excellent that'll make the trip back to Stevens Point a lot shorter, won't it? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> okay, Tremont, what are we going to learn? We're just going to learn the proper press, press man coverage, which you just saw on the film that Larry just showed. Okay. So what you do is you're going to get in a nice balanced stance. There you go. And if I come, okay, you get in that stance. If I come at you, you got to motor back a little bit. When you motor back, what you're going to do is take some baby steps back. Okay. And once I make my break, that's when you turn your hips. So 
If I come at you, then I make go, then I make my break. That's when you open your hips and shoot your hands also. Okay. So you you want to shoot. So if I come at you and I take this step this way, you want to shoot this hand. This just yeah, this you want to shoot this one okay. here. And if I come straight at straight at you, then you can shoot both hands. Okay. There you go. So if I go this way, obviously you shoot that hand. You got, quick. You got it. You got it. You got it. Okay. Are, are we ready for the real deal now? You ready? For now the real Earl deal? doesn't know which way he's going. Remember right. which hand to so shoot. Give some room. Now you got to got to get in front. Call it. Three forty four. Three forty four. Ready, ready, hunt. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I don't know what the pointers got at cornerback, but they could use you, <laughs> brother. Tremont, does he earn your autograph? He's earned it. Terrific. Well, the Duke of Earl is getting go. Tremont's autograph. Thank we got to take a break. When we come back, more with Tremont Williams. Don't go away. You're watching Packers Live. Catch Packers Live with your team. Thank you. For free group tickets, call or email the Packers and be part of the show live at Lambeau Field. Welcome back. Tremont Williams, our special guest. And Tremont, what do you want to talk about? I want to talk about me. I want to talk about me. I want to talk about I want to talk about number one. Oh, me, oh, my. What a thing, what a life, what a number, what I want, what a see. I like talking about you, 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 usually. But occasionally, I want to talk about me. Yeah. I want to talk about me, the exciting segment where we delve into the private lives of our guests. Just kidding, Tremont. <laughs> Tremont, how tall are you? Like 5'11", 6 feet? 6 feet. 6 feet. Okay, 6 feet. I want, to, I want folks to see what kind of athlete this guy is. We got a little clip of you playing basketball. That- <laughs> Now, yeah, you were, you've were you always had the hops. Like in high school, you were a, a state placer in the long jump and high jump, weren't mm-hmm. you? So that that's just something, that, that leaping ability, it's come to you naturally? It's come to me naturally. Um, over the years, I, I didn't start touching the rim until my ninth grade year in high school. But once I started touching the rim, it just kept going. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Coming up, we'll have questions for Tremont from our lively audience here in the Legends Club, high atop the beautiful Lambeau Field. Adrian, stay with us, please. Welcome back. Tremont Williams, our very special guest, and we have some questions for him. Your name? Riley from Scandia, Michigan. Riley from Scandia, Michigan. What's your question? I want to know how you went undrafted because you've always looked like a first rounder to me. First of all, I appreciate that. <laughs> but I mean, I don't have no explanation for it. Um, you know, I, I just kind of figured that, you know, people just get missed. And I was one of those guys to get missed. Um, but they say you can't hide talent for a long time, y'all. You <laughs> You eventually get noticed, so I end up getting noticed, and I'm glad it was the Packers. I remember when Tremont was a young player, first practice at training camp, he had like eight interceptions. I'm saying, who is this guy? Tremont Williams. <laughs> That's who he turned out to be. Your name? Luann from Nina. And Luann, what's your question? First, congratulations on the big win yesterday. And my question is, would you rather play in bitter cold or a lot of snow? Like you have a choice, just saying. <laughs> uh, I think I'd rather play in the snow because the cold a little bit too cold. <laughs> Thank you. When it, usually when it's snow, it's not overly cold, so I'd rather play in a little bit of snow. I'm sure you'll get the chance for both. Uh, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Thank you, Tremont, and thanks to our Thank questioners. You. Frankie, what was your favorite question, and what does that lucky questioner receive? My favorite question was number two from Neha, and they receive an official Packer B baby balls. That's right. Just in time for the holiday. He's very subtle. 
Coming up, the subtle conclusion to our program. Stay with us, please. I'm sorry, buddy. Thank you, third and short. Back one more time with Tremont Williams. Tremont, you got the Vikings this week, and how weird is it going to be to play at their place and their places change? You'll be playing outdoors against the Vikings. Will that be a big difference for you? Big difference. Big difference. First of all, Minnesota get a little bit colder than Green Bay. <laughs> and to play at a college stadium, uh, it'll be a little different. Now, Tremont, one of the things – you guys are really into all kinds of different training methods that hadn't been invented yet when I played. But, and yoga is one of them, and you're a big propo- proponent of that, are you not? No doubt about it. I started um, two years ago, started doing it, and I recognized how different I felt on the field, how fluid I felt, um, how fast that my body recovered, and things of that nature. And, you know, I kind of told the guys, I was like, you guys need to get into this because uh, it, it helps you out. It's going to you know, able your career to go a little bit longer. So I got a few guys who come to yoga with me. I do it twice a week. Quite a few from what I've heard. Yeah, quite a few. New schedule that you guys are going with right now where you get Fridays basically off, Saturday's practice, good with you? Good with me. Um, I can't see myself going back to the old schedule right now. <laughs> Fair enough. Tremont, we've got a parting gift for you, buddy. The official Packers pen. It's got Packers on it. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it, Larry. Thank you. Continued success. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care.